What was it, an explosion or something? Nah, nothing like that. One of the lab people forgot to seal a hatch or something, and there was a chemical reaction. Somebody got poisoned or irradiated or radiated or whatever the hell you call it. Uh, he must feel like shit. I doubt it. Guy's dead. Yeah, I, I mean whoever caused it. Whatever it was. Oh, absolutely. It's a she, actually. She's over at the church. Must be a Catholic. And the dead guy? Ah, uh, town morgue. We got Kristoff there making sure no one gets in. Ether's sending uh, someone to pick up the body. Last thing we want is the local press taking an interest. Yeah, good call. So the coroner's office sends me down here to examine a body on ice. That's like a two-hour drive. And when I get here, they tell me I don't have clearance, that the morgue's been closed down. What? By ether? I mean, how can a private company close down a city morgue? <laughs> well, money talks, I guess. Well, that's not money talk. That's, that's money on a soapbox with a megaphone, you know? Ugh, anyway, I'm taking the day off. I hear the coffee's pretty good around here. Forgive me, Father, for I have sinned. It has been seven days since my last confession. Speak, child. Yesterday, I, um, I made a mistake. I made a mistake, and a man lost his life. <clears throat> a good man. Someone I knew. He was... It was just a tiny little slip-up where I work, but even a small mistake can be catastrophic. They took him to the chapel morgue, and I want to pay my respects. Say how sorry I am. But he's dead, Father. And nothing I say will bring him back. If I go, am I merely being selfish? My child. Grief. An accident at the ether lab has claimed the life of a scientist. His body is currently stored at the town morgue, and a guilt-ridden colleague plans to visit there to pay her respects. Between them, these two have everything we need to infiltrate the field lab. Is for the living, not the dead. You do whatever you need to do, because his sorrow has ended, and yours has not. Thank you, Father. Thank you. I will. Oh, step aside! I need to see the deceased. I'm under orders not to let anybody in until Ether's people have signed off on the corpse, man. Hello to you, Dr. Lafayette. Could be Lafayette. contagious. Nonsense. I am Ether's people. The corpse, as you so delicately put it, was my friend. Now I am going to say my goodbyes. All right, fine, lady. If something happens, it's on you. <sighs> it's already on me. Room secure. Leave me, Bernard. <clears throat> I, uh, I want to be alone. Ma'am? Oh, okay. You're dead, and you still look stressed out. <laughs> So, now I have you to feel guilty about. Great. We build a weapon that will kill thousands. And all we feel is intellectual curiosity. Isn't human psychology a laugh? <laughs> DeSantis asked me if I'm still committed. Like we're on a crusade. We say this virus will end all war, but the truth is, we have no idea, and we don't care. We're just monkeys poking the unknown with a stick, and what of it? There is nothing as potent as an idea whose time has come. No, I don't have second thoughts. But still, being here, I wonder. Hey, if God is mad, give me a heads up, will you? <laughs> anyway, <laughs> goodbye, Malcolm. I'm... I'm really sorry. Entering the ether lab requires a key card and a uniform. Luckily, it seems both are within reach.
some type of quarantine unit. Yeah. <laughs> 